Hi, I'm Pete from A Suit That Fits, and this is What to Wear at Ascot for Men. So there's two sections to Ascot. Um, it's probably more likely that you're going to be coming into um, just the standard element of Ascot, so the major grandstands and any of the, any of the public areas. Um, the dress code there is that you would always have to be seen with a collar and tie, so you must wear a dress, a formal dress shirt um, and, a, uh, and a necktie. Um, you would look pretty out of place if you actually weren't wearing a suit as well. Um, and it goes without saying that obviously shorts and jeans are strictly forbidden. Um, although if you did want to go down the very, very casual end, you could get away with just wearing a pair of chinos, some smart shoes, um, a shirt and a tie. Um, but like I said, most people will be in jackets and you might look a bit strange if you weren't wearing one. Um, however, there is a second side to ask it, and if you are lucky enough to be invited into the Royal Enclosure, um, the dress code changes entirely. So within the Royal Enclosure, they have very, very strict principles of dress. Uh, and for men, this would be, as we can see here on the dummy, um, men at the Royal Enclosure are expected to wear morning dress at all times. So that would be a pair of um, morning trousers. So they, they're a, a very specific gray striped trouser. Um, a black or gray uh, morning coat, like the one, the black one on this dummy here. Um, also, a waistcoat would be expected to be worn as well. You would not gain admission without one. Um, oftentimes people will want to go with something a little fancy, something color colorful, and usually which matches either the uh, pocket square which they choose or their, or their tie. Um, again, obviously the tie and the shirt are prerequisites to morning dress. Uh, something which we don't have here, um, which is also going to be very, very important, is a top hat. You would not be um, allowed admission into the Royal Enclosure without one, so a top hat is something that people will choose to either get made by a milliner or will go and hire just for the day. Um, and they're expected to keep that top hat on in most of the enclosures within, uh, within Ascot on the day, um, bar, private boxes, or anywhere else. That um, where where you can sit down and be sort of away from the larger crowds within the uh, royal enclosure. Um, if you are coming from overseas, there are some overseas visitors who will come over just for Ascot. Um, there is uh, you aren't necessarily expected to wear this. You would be expected to wear your national formal dress, um, or if you are in the armed services, your ceremonial armed service dress is also going to be suitable for uh, the royal enclosure at Ascot. Um, so, that is what to wear to ask it for men. Mm -hmm.